hi friends welcome back to my channel again so in this video i would be discussing uh four uh you know four concepts so the first concept is how to change a role and a profile in salesforce to the existing user and second how to create a fails in an object and third how a permission set really work in my previous video i have shown you how you can create a permission set and assign it but in this video i will show you how a permission set actually works and next what is an owd organization wide settings and how we can navigate to it and uh, where it is used i will try to explain this concept in this video so do not forget to watch the video till the end and also before we start i recommend you to just like this video and subscribe to, uh, to my channel for more uh, future videos so uh, as soon as you open your chrome browser just go to you know just open your bookmarked hands on our website so this is how it should look like i have just enabled this one so we would be using this one today i'm just going to rename so that we would be on the same page So I have clicked on something called fields. I just launched it. So basically this is our Salesforce instance. We are here. Now just go here, go on here and go to setup. And then click on users and click on users here so once you click on users you would be seeing who are the active users in this instance and uh, what is their role and what is their profile here and this is username i have told you one thing that a user can create multiple salesforce accounts with the same email address but the username would be different uh, i mean username should be unique in all the organizations and then now let's uh, try to you know change the profile for this guy uh, let me click on edit so if you see uh, you can change the role in this way uh, like uh, I want to make him like for sales the role is changed to sales now and profile would be custom sales profile so basically this is how you can uh, you know change the role here and profile here and license also you can change but i don't think you will do this in the real time until and unless if some community user or some external user is logged in and uh, keeping that aside just click on save so if you see this guy profile is sales profile and i will uh, show you one thing so uh, I'm going to enable login as any user so that we can, uh, you know, we can log in through another profile and we can test in the same page. So I just clicked on this one. You need to uh, search for something called login policies. Yeah, login and then login access policies. Then you, you need to enable it so that you can log in as any user and uh, this is different so i don't think this is something needed for now but in the future concepts i will try to you know uh, tell you about these concepts as well for now we have clicked on uh, we will be clicking on save so um, okay let me click on save so if i click on save what happens is let me show you what would be the difference you can see if you see i can see a new option called login but earlier it was only edit so when you click on login you would be navigated uh, i mean you would be logged on as this guy career area 3 viewer with this role and this profile so that you can check uh you know replicate the issues if someone is facing so this is how you can change a role and a profile and I've shown you how you can uh, log in as any user and what kind of setting is something we need to enable. And next, 
our concept is how to create a field so basically what happens is uh, let me duplicate this one now let's create a few fields on the account object I clicked on object manager I'm going to click on account so basically uh, just you need to go to object manager then you need to select which object in which object you want to create a field so now we would be going to create a field called account name account number and extra information about account or else information remarks so uh, we got the situation to talk about these concepts as well so what this does is so these are all these all are called as data types like any programming language we would be having different types of data types in salesforce as well when you are creating a field so in programming what happens when you are creating a variable you will define what kind of data type it is in the same way we would be defining what type of field it is so the first one is auto number when you when you select auto number what it does is it will show you it will auto generate some sequence of numbers like if you are creating the first record it will mark as one if you are creating second record it will mark as two it would be marked as three in, in the same way it will go on and next formula so formula is something you will use when you want to calculate some value or else when you want to map some value to this field in the same object or from the from its parent or child object i i would be telling it more in the upcoming concepts and roll up summary is something uh, if you want to calculate the values like sum difference or multiplication i mean sum or difference or uh, multiplication i'm not sure i need to look up more and next lookup relation so lookup relation is something if you are creating a field and account and you want to map this account field to a specific contact so what you would be doing is on the contact level you would be creating a lookup field called account and from contact from contact object on the account field which is a lookup you can map it to the account so this is how it is when you select external lookup relationship so it would be when you are mapping to uh, another app or third party app outside of salesforce and the next is checkbox checkbox is like a box if it is true mark it as true if it is not true then leave it if it is false then leave it in that way and currency is something to calculate the money or to specify the specify it is a uh, currency related field and next date date and time email this is generic this three are and geolocation will show you the latitude and la longitude so it is not necessary and number percentage phone these three are uh, good i mean generic and next pick list pick list is something a drop down menu one two three you would be having three values which one you are going to select is pick list and multi multi select pick list is if in the drop down menu there are five fields and you want to select three fields then this multi select pick list value will come into the picture and then text text area text area long text area rich text encrypted so all these fields are related to the text you can uh, you know explore these things when you are free and next time and next url so these are a couple of uh, things that we can discuss uh, you know that we have discussed here but you can explore more so i hope uh, you were able to understand a few data types at least here but based upon our activity we will try to learn more and then i'm going to create a field called um text for now text i'm going to add it as um a field called account information new i mean new field it is new field right so that is the reason i mentioned here so you need to define the length of the field that you are going to create when it is text and then if you want to ma make it as required you need to enter this meaning when you are able to save the record if you enable this it won't save until if it has some value and if you want to make it as unique you can mark it as here if it is case sensitive or in case sensitive you can uh, use these logics to be more specific and if you want to use it as an external id you can also use it and if you want to add it to a custom report type you can add it so if you want to make some default value you can create a formula here and then just click on next 
when you click on next so if you see all these are the profiles that we add a, uh, i mean for which profiles you want to provide access you can do that so for now what i will do is i will remove access to everyone and i will provide access to system admin meaning for myself i'm just going to click on next and i'm going to add it to all the page layouts click on save okay um so these are the page uh you know these are the fields that i uh, i mean uh, i have created a field and i have added to the account object which is account information new so uh what we can quickly do is we can open a new tab or else i can make a duplicate of this account and i'm going to click on here this nine dots play key role when you want to navigate to a specific tab or up, you can uh, search here. So I just came to accounts, just click on here, all accounts. I'm just going to add it to my favorite list. And then I'm going to open this Burlington something. Okay. So these are related list for now. We would be concentrating on details. I will show you what exactly, uh, these things so if you see i'm able to see account information new so i can it is a text type you can add any value hi uh, this is a test field you can add it like this okay um so then what we would be doing next is if you notice i have given access to only a system admin profile but let me log in as this guy So I am going to duplicate it. So if you see, I have logged in as a sales profile. If you see, this user is custom sales profile and role is director channels. So I am going to click on OK. So what happened is it is opening in the, um, you know, Salesforce Lightning uh, classic version. I will show you how to make it as classic, but not now. Let's complete this concept. I have clicked on accounts and uh, all accounts click on go it is loading it is taking some time so if i open this burlington textiles if you see i am unable to see a field called account new information whereas i can see here so this is this page is basically from system admin. So this page, this page is basically sales profile, custom sales profile. So that is the reason we were unable to see it. So there are two ways on how to make this enable. I will show you them and let's talk more about this concept and I will show you how we can use a permission set so for now what we need to do is we need to log out from this profile so basically um logged in log out okay um no thanks for now now let me go here and click on edit okay um even i forgot the password so bear with me for a minute so launch here and then go back now it will work launch okay uh, now it is working then what here we can do is just click on edit I will try to add um, a profile to this guy. I mean, I will try to provide a Salesforce Lightning for this user. Let me see how I can do it. I just clicked on edit here, just edit here. And then there would be something called lightning here. Uh, default landing page, load lightning pages. L I G H T. 
HD. Okay. Okay. Um, this this looks good for me, but I don't know why it is not showing here. Let me click on profile. Let me click on this profile again. I think there would be a permission set called lightning experience. Uh, Salesforce, CMS integration, engagement, basic user. Okay. Um, enable lightning for this user. So where I can see it. Um, for some reason, I'm unable to see how I can uh, add Salesforce Lightning to a user. But what I can do here is, let me create a permission set for this. So just click on here, go for permission set. Permission sets. So let me create a permission set called Lightning, uh, Salesforce Lightning. Salesforce Lightning. L I G H T N I N G. Okay, this is API name. This is no license is needed. Just click on save. So once you click on save, so you would be giving system permissions. So just click on system permissions. Once you click on system permissions, let me search for lightning. L I G H T N I N G. So let me see where I can see create folders for login email templates. Access lightning experience and switch between lightning and classic. So if you see, I need to enable this one. Uh, uh, I need to click on edit first. And then I need to search for uh, these things. Let me enable these three for now. Uh, okay. So these are basically um, these are basically uh, lightning related. Uh, you know, I mean these are basically related to the system permissions. I just clicked on save for now. So basically what happened was we have uh, created the permission set called Salesforce Lightning. So whatever the profile we add to this uh, permission set, they would be having access to Salesforce, uh, you know, Salesforce Lightning. So two assignments were successful. Okay, um, I have provided them. Carry the three is uh, there. So what we would be doing is, if you remember, let me install this integration called Salesforce Inspector. With this, the work would become easy for me. Just click on Add to Chrome. Add extension. So this is one of the, um, you know, very helpful Chrome extension uh, for Salesforce admins or developers. If you know someone in your circle uh, who is, you know, working with in, on the Salesforce, they would be telling you what kind of, uh, you know, extension is this. So if you see, I can see something here called Salesforce Inspector Reloaded. Now, when I search for people, I would be logging into this, pre uh, this profile, which is uh, Carrera sales profile let me click on here let me go to permission sets let me go to details so that uh, you know so that you can see what kind of permission set this user has. we have added salesforce lightning to this user i'm closing it and you can easily navigate to the user profile just click on try login as now when i click on login as now you know salesforce lightning came earlier we were only able to switch to salesforce classic but this is a good sign we have enabled lightning for this user 
and then i clicked on account i clicked on this since i logged in as this user which is sales i am unable to see the uh, information like this one so hi this is a test field i am unable to see so what we need to do now is let us take a screenshot for quick uh, you know easy example um this is this one okay um now i'm going to log out as a this user so that i can go back to the um you know to like an admin so what i would be doing here is let me go here click on here click on here and then i'm going to launch this again So when I click on launch this again, I was able to come here. Now what I would be doing is I'm going to show you how you can enable this field in two ways. So you need to uh, go to the object manager. Here it is object manager, right? Just open this field called account information new. and then click on uh, set field level security and then if you click on custom sales profile like this the field would be shown in the front end so this is uh, let me take a screenshot of this and then i would be clicking on save so we have provided access so let me quickly go here um okay um so i have given the permissions from here now what we are going to do is we are going to uh log in again which would be I don't think I need to log in here because I have already logged in so basically this is the admin one this is this should be the custom uh, you know sales profile let me open this one just click on try login as and then click on accounts if you see i have logged in as a different user i just clicked on this and clicked on details if you see i'm able to see this field because i have added here uh no i have added here custom sales profile so this is how we can see it this is on the field level access you can you can uh, think like this is a field level access and next what we would be doing is we would be creating another field and we would be trying to provide access through permission set now i'm going to click on uh, log out as a user okay but it is asking me i don't know why but what we can do here is again we need to go here hands on org click on launch again now go here um so basically what we would be doing is fields and relationships now we would be creating a field called um text again and click on next this time for permission set for permission set so length would be like 125 characters just click on next this time you don't need to provide access to any user including systems admin click on next click on save so um if you see the field is already added but we are unable to see uh, it anywhere like let me click on here permission for permission set i clicked on here 
and i'm just going to click on where is this used so when you click on where is this used it will show you where exactly to use it is already added to the four page layouts now let me go back and now burlington just i'm going to open it so i'm going to refresh it so if you see i'm unable to see the field called for permission set anywhere here okay now what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a new permission set called visible for permission set okay um just click on save now we are giving field level access via permission set just click on object settings and here uh, we have created the field on the accounts and here we would be uh, creating uh, you know providing access to this one click on edit and just give access to uh, you know this one it should be read and edit access whatever you need you can provide here just click on save we have created a permission set now and click on manage assignments now and then click on add assignment then add it to uh, these two users okay um, just click on next click on assign uh, okay done add assignment you all design done okay all these users have access to this field now so um now when i click on this one um it is not appeared but why um let me click on here again details count owner for permission set So it is not appearing here. Let me see what went wrong. So basically, I did some, uh, you know, let us see for another account. Let me create a new account here and see if we were able to see the field. Now we were able to see the, uh, you know, for permission set here. But let's see. Um, Okay, we, however, we are creating a new account. There is no parent account. Click on save. Click on details. So basically, uh, the field that I, I have added through permission set is not appearing here. But when I click on edit, it is appearing here. So maybe we need to do some more work on this on how to understand things. But I hope you understand how this permission uh, set works. And the next thing here is there is a one of the interesting uh, future called sharing settings or organization wide settings so basically what it does is so all these are the objects in the salesforce so if you want to define a specific sharing rule you can define through here let's say if i want to define the object rules for account and contract just click on edit and see what exactly it is so if you see there are three things one is default internal default external and grant access using hierarchies so i would not be discussing about this but he, if you if we talk about this this is for internal employees this is for external access which would be a community or partner or others which are not fallen which uh, which won't fall under your domain and next if you see this there are four types like 
private is something only the record only the lead that you have created only you would be having access to it but not others but permission set has a uh, potential to override these things and next public read everyone can read i mean the internal uh, and next if we click on public read or write it have access to edit the existing records as well and this we can change the owner of the record, record as well so these are the four options that define here and next these are different uh, objects has different uh, functionality different functionality have different types of omissions here so two things you need to remember here one this is internal access and the other one is external access and these are the options available just click on save after you uh, do sharing and uh, i think that's it for this video friends in my upcoming video i would be sharing more relevant information till then keep watching my videos and do not forget to subscribe my channel thank you and have a great day